Hey everyone, it's Morella Minnelli here and today I'm going to show you a brand new technique on how to highlight hair called Air Touch. So if you're a huge fan of TZ Lights, you're totally going to fall in love with this technique. And I'm going to walk you through her entire formulation using all Kenra color. So stay tuned and check it out. Before we get started on our new air touch hair painting method, I'm actually going to go ahead and trim off her dead ends because I really love to build my house before I paint and plus it's going to give me a really nice canvas to work with. 99% of the time I do dry cutting specifically because you get to see the structure of the hair way before the final end result. Plus it's a great way to remove unnecessary hair and really focus on exactly where your color placement is going to live. Now that she's all trimmed up, I'm going to go ahead and pre-section her so I have a nice clean working space to work with. So now that I have the front separated from the back, I'm going to just take kind of a rather wide V section in the back, starting from right behind her ear. You can almost kind of feel the occipital bone right behind the ear, so it's kind of like my starting point. And I'll do the same thing to the other side and then just tuck this away. And the reason why I really like the sectioning typically is because since it isn't a V section, it's going to give you a really nice diffused seamless um, finish with your highlights. So now we're going to go ahead and get ready to do our air touch method. So the lightener that I decided to use on my model Liz's hair is Kenra Professionals No Ammonia Lightener and I mixed it one part powder to two parts 20 volume. And the reason why I chose this lightener is because of its creamy consistency and it is no ammonia, so I love its gentle lift it's gonna get. Plus, she has some already previous highlights down through here and I know that I'm gonna be overlapping some of this lightener and I don't wanna co further compromise it. So this is a really great lightener to use and I am gonna be putting it in some foil. So the foil's a heat conductor. It's gonna give me a really nice light and bright effect. Plus her hair's already naturally level five, six, which is a really nice canvas to start with. So I don't really need anything too, too aggressive with her. Now to get started on the air touch method, you're gonna to want to use a pretty good, powerful dryer. I really like the Dyson for this and because it has a nice strong blow. Um, but you're also going to want to make sure that it's on a cool setting. So I'm going to make sure that I turn the heat completely off and high blow to do this technique. So you can see here she has about an inch and a half to two inch wide section. And the width of the section is completely up to you. Depends on how much blonde you want to put in through there. We want something kind of natural and since this air touch method is really mimicking baby lights essentially along with balayage, you can really do a lot with it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this entire section and then I'm going to pinch the very end of the hair and then we're going to blow out all of the hair. So basically this what this is going to do is replace the TZ light method so that way when you go and wash your client's hair out you're not struggling detangling at the end. So you can see here she has all of these hairs kind of fallen out and you're just going to help further separate it. But you can see we're left with a really nice amount of hair that's going to mimic again that balayage and baby light. I'm just gonna take my lightener and put it a little further down just so I can get the hair to kind of stick to the foil. And then what I like to do once I get it stuck there, and what you also could do, which I'm gonna do right now, is take my clip and just kind of help me hold that there for a second, especially with this bottom occipital section, just because sometimes it gets a little challenging. 
so don't be afraid to use a clip. But I'm gonna go ahead and pinch the bottom hair here, apply my lightener, and then I really like to kind of stroke it up. And this is just gonna really help give you an even, even further diffused line. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and sandwich this. And then we're gonna move on to the other side. Okay, so now that the two sections on the bottom are complete, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on applying the same technique throughout the entire back section, doing about two inch wide sections. And I'm gonna be doing mostly V sections along with horizontals. Remember when doing this technique, it's completely up to you and your client, the amount of blonde you want to apply to her hair. So if you want lots and lots of blonde, take smaller subsections. And if you want less blonde and more natural effect, you're gonna take wider subsections. Take into consideration your client's texture and density. The more coarser and thicker your client's hair is, the more difficult it can be for proper product saturation. So you may need to take smaller sections. You'll also notice that I double up my foils for length purposes. I really like applying the lightener so it's nice and flat to the hair. If there's too much hair on the ends, I don't want to pull it back up and swirl around the product because this may cause undersaturation of your product. Now I'm completely done with the back side, and like I mentioned, I did a lot of diagonals and horizontals throughout the entire back section until I completed the top, doing about two inch wide sections. Now for the front, um, what I'm gonna be doing are a little bit smaller sections because we do want a little bit more lighter and brighter effect, especially around the face. And since Liz does wear her hair typically down the center, I'm gonna go ahead and keep her center part, but to give me a little added control and also for placement purposes, I'm going to split her hair right around her parietal ridge there, right where the head starts to curve. Just kind of bring this right on up. And I'm gonna leave this section for right after we do this bottom front section. So right on through the front, I'm just gonna take diagonal sections, going diagonal back. And we're gonna continue on with this technique. Now you could baby light this front hairline, but we don't really mind the depth that this is gonna to create too right in the front. So when doing this technique, you know, definitely, you know, customize it to what your client is wanting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with another diagonal back section. Tuck that away and then pinch and blow dry.
and you can see it just re removes all of the depth of the hair that's gonna be still a little bit darker and brunette. And we're left with these really nice little baby lights. So now I'm gonna go ahead and continue to finish this side section with about two to three more foils, still doing my air touch method. And then we'll get ready to finish on that top section. Okay, now that the side's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the top. So this is where it gets a little bit different, something that I really enjoy doing, especially because a lot of clients now really um, are requesting money pieces in the front. So when I get ready to do that, I kind of create a triangular piece, especially if they are a center parter like Liz. Her part mostly lives in the center. I'm just gonna take a small triangular piece. And I almost like creating these like back to back little baby lights. So it looks the most natural. So I think, I'm gonna put your head down a little bit. So I think that's kind of like a nice little um, section to work with. And then what I'm gonna be doing is just putting two back-to-back -back baby lights, then adding a little bit of a space, and then I'll finish off this section right in through here with the air touch method. Now that Liz's front hairline baby light section is completely finished, I'm now gonna finish the top right section and I'm gonna be taking forward diagonal sections, which is the complete opposite of what we did at the bottom here. So it's just, just gonna give a little bit more lightness and brightness more towards the front and a little bit more depth on through the interior through here. Now a quick little tip is when you're doing the air touch method, you're gonna wanna hold your blow dryer completely facing down, so that way it helps blow the hair in a nice clean way and giving you a nice clean section.
All right, so now we're completely done applying her highlights using the air touch method. So we're just gonna go ahead and let her process room temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll check her foils and see kind of where she's at and then we're gonna tone and finish her. So it's been about 35 minutes and we're really loving the progression here. So as you can see, she's got a really nice lift and we're definitely ready to go ahead and shampoo her out and tone her. I was able to remove my model's foils with ease and what I love about this air touch method is that I didn't have to deal with the bulk of the tees that you get with teasy lights and a lot of other balayage methods out there. And I was able to easily rinse her hair and use Kenra Platinum Snail Shampoo for a nice hydrated base, which is perfect before doing any toning. And I also didn't have to go get a wet brush and cause her pain or the hair stress right after a lightning service, which is amazing. Toner, I decided to go in with Demi Permanent in Kenra Professional with equal parts of 8B and 7 Violet Metallic. And I chose this formula mostly because of its very creamy finish and cool finish at that. So I mixed it up one to two with nine volume developer and applied it right onto her ends. I decided that I wasn't gonna do a color melt or shadow root with her finish because of the air touch technique, there really isn't a need for it. It really gives a really nice seamless blend so you don't have to do the extra work that comes with a color melt or a shadow root finish. I processed her toner right at the bowl for about 15 minutes and just really kept an eye on it and watched the hair until I decided that I liked the tone that I saw and thoroughly rinsed her and finished her with Kenra Platinum Snail Conditioner for a nice hydrated finish. So here is the final result using the new Air Touch highlighting method using all Kenra Professional products. So just to recap on her formula, I used Kenra Professional No Ammonia Lightener with 20 volume. And then for her final toner, we used 8B and 7 Violet Metallic and left it on for about 15 minutes. And she's left with this really beautiful creamy end result and it completely neutralized out a lot of the copper tones that she had prior. And then for her final style, I used Kenra Platinum Thickening Mousse and then finished her off with my favorite product, which is Texturizing Taffy, just to break up a little of the curls and also tame a lot of the flyaways. So I really hope you enjoyed this new air touch highlighting technique as much as I did. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below with any questions you may have. And until next time.